Man cannot accumulate poison in its tissue in the same way, but knows how to copy the strategy. We have discovered the potential of preserving food that some species offer us. Better yet, spices. What we know by the name of spices are plants that have developed a potent chemical for their self-protection. And given their bactericidal and fungicidal character, man has learned to use them as food preservatives. Blended with food, spices prevent fungi, bacteria, or insects from eating our groceries. We discovered much later, after being accustomed to the flavor, that aside from preventing diarrhea, they had a fragrance and exquisite bouquet, and in small doses, they weren't dangerous. But let it be stated that the intense flavors and aromas of pepper, bay leaf, parsley, and mustard correspond to a clear warning. They can be deadly. Avoid eating too much. Bacteria and protozoa develop in a liquid medium, which is where they also live best. This is where the danger of water comes from. The problem arises when you are very thirsty, and the only water available is warm and stagnant. In other words, ideal conditions to offer your stomach a lot of undesired life forms. This is another time when we should turn to the plant pharmacy and prevent the famous Montezuma's Revenge, diarrhea. We were advised to eat certain berries if we had to drink here. And of course, if we judged the bactericidal potential of the berries in relation to how bitter they were, we could have saved the expense of the modern water purifying pills. Among all the animal families distinguished by taxonomy, we will find species that use alchemy to defend themselves. Although among mammals, birds, and reptiles, poison is something very unusual. The duck-billed platypus is one of these rarities. The spurs on their back feet are connected to a poisonous gland. The same spurs are found in continental neighbors, the echidnas, but these primitive animals have only a trace of what they should. Today, they seem to have lost their effectiveness. Maybe the predator that they use their poison against has been wiped out. Stepping down a step on the lifeline, one step right before reptiles, we'll find a class of vertebrates that are experts in the functions and use of poison. Amphibians. To start off, we should highlight that all species within this animal class store harmful substances in the glands of their skin for those that want to taste them. This young hunter isn't aware of it yet, but without a doubt, after his first close encounter, he'll never forget the experience. Let's go back to the idea of poison as a defensive weapon. An arrowhead frog's weapon is so strong that they have practically no predators. The arrowhead frog eats poisonous insects, which they use in some way to make their own toxin, batrachotoxin, the strongest poison created by any animal. The recipe comes from the frogs, but the raw material belongs to the insects. In effect, we will find the most lethally poisonous and complex formulas among anthropoids. They even use hydrocyanic gas transmitters that kill through inhalation. However, when someone talks about a sting, the first thing that comes to mind are wasps. It's true that some have very strong venom, and due to their gregarious character, an attack by them can be fatal. But man has been able to learn the most about wasps through hunting wasps. Curiously, they're herbivores, 
They only hunt for their larvae, and they have invented a toxin that only paralyzes their prey. They don't want to kill them. They only want to keep them alive and immobile, so that one day their offspring will have fresh meat. An authentic, paralyzing anesthetic. In order to really talk about poisonous insects in this episode, really poisonous that is, we've chosen the ant. Ants are descendants of wasps, and although during their evolutionary process most of them have lost their sting, some ants hide a terrible weapon in their abdomen. This is a bullet ant, a gigantic ant measuring about three centimeters in length. It hunts insects and even small frogs. It lives in the Latin American forests, and due to its feeding habits, it's always looking for food on its own. Its non-lethal sting is the most painful one that exists. They say that it hurts more than a gunshot wound. Coincidentally, we were filming this specimen when we watched how the ant began to move in a very strange way. When we looked closer, we understood why. It was being threatened by death and its very powerful poison wouldn't help him at all. The antidote that these tiny hunchback flies were using was made to order for the ant. And the jaws of the bullet ants are too big and weigh too much as to represent any danger. In the end, various flies achieved their objective, to leave an egg on top of the monstrous beast, which is 100 times bigger than they are. Their larvae are guaranteed a lot of food. The first animal forms were born in the sea and were almost as immobile as plants. Corals and sponges could not get away from a predator when they were being threatened. Their strategy coincided with that of the plant kingdom. To incorporate toxins in their organism so that they would be unpleasant to taste and even dangerous. And just as happened with plants, some animals learn to use the venom of the corals. The garbage crab places on top of itself materials that he finds scattered in his environment in order to camouflage himself. But this one has taken it one step further. He has covered himself with Perizoanthus, an extremely urticarious coral that not only gives him an imitative factor, but a powerful defense mechanism in case he runs into a predator. He simply covered himself with this coral by chance, as if it were any other thing. However, the delicateness with which he removed each coral from its moorings seems to reveal the intention to keep them alive on his shell. Nudibranchs are another kind of animal that takes advantage of corals and sponges. These mollusks, which lack a shell, have also discovered the possibilities offered by chemistry. This striking snail has specialized its diet in blue sponges. It finds certain active and very powerful substances that give it a deadly sting. It can afford the luxury of being white of being unmistakable within its species because there are no carnivores able to eat it without dying. <laughs> 